Now Jericho. Um, why was the taking of Jericho so significant? We're coming up on some uh, maps here that I want you to take note. Do you, do you guys download the PowerPoints from online with the maps and stuff? So these maps, you, you hopefully you'll get those and things. Is Jericho a big deal? You even have in America the song Joshua at the Battle of Jericho that used to be sung in schools, actually, and people now probably don't sing it in schools, probably sung in churches now, because schools don't let you sing anything like that. By the way, is that kind of ironic? Is that, no, let me get in your face a little bit. Is that kind of our PC stuff? Question, can you sing Joshua at the Battle of Jericho in public schools anymore? They did in my school, actually. Oh, they did? Okay, <laughs> yeah, so some of the schools still do it. Well, that's good, okay. But, but you know, you get, you get into all sorts of trouble when you start doing these things that are quasi-religious and stuff. People freak out in our culture now. But uh, where is the location of Joshua? The location of Joshua is critically important because that location shows you why this was such an important. It was the first place that is your first battle uh, when you start a season. Do you guys play sports and stuff? Your first, your first game or your first season? Is, is your first game a big deal? Your first game kind of sets the tenor and stuff. And so this is their first battle in the promised land at Jericho. And what's the location? Here's the location. Let me just kind of point out some things here in terms of this map. Do you see this wall of mountains here coming down? And there's another wall of mountains over here. Do you guys know what plate tectonics are? You've got these two continental plates. And the two plates meet right here. This is two continents meet here. And what happened is the plates pulled apart. And when the plates pulled apart like this, they went down a little bit, they pulled apart and down, it basically left this thing here, which is 1,270 feet below sea level, lowest point on the face of the earth, 1,270 feet below sea level. All the water goes into the salt sea or the dead sea. How does it get out? It evaporates and leaves the residue behind. That's why it's 33% salt. So what happened is the two plates went apart. So you got one here and one here. So you got, this is in a canyon, you know, 10, 20 miles across here. It's a canyon between where these two plates had separated. And it goes from the Sea of Galilee down to the Dead Sea. It goes all the way, actually, it goes down to the Gulf of Elat, down into the Red Sea, and down into Africa. Okay, this, these two plates connecting, but you can get to see it right here. Moses is going to be right here at Mount Nebo. The Israelites are camped right here. Moses is going to die on Mount Nebo here. Joshua then is going to take them down the cliffs and cross the Jordan River. You can see the Jordan River here. They're going to cross the Jordan River and dry ground, and Jericho will be located right here. Is Jericho in the canyon or on the mountains? Is Jericho in the canyon or on the mountains? In the canyons. It's, I don't know, like 800 feet below sea level and things. Is it going to be hot in the canyon? Does anybody know like Death Valley or anything like that? Is it going to be hot in the canyon? Extremely hot, very hot, 120 down there all the time kind of thing. And the, by the way, Jericho has a huge spring that puts out, I think it's over 10,000 gallons a day of water. Okay, it just pumps all this water out. Question, when it's really hot like that in the desert down there, do you need water? And so question, is this going to be a really important place as you're coming across this way? Are you going to get your water there at Jericho? And then you go up to Jerusalem, okay? Do you notice that Jerusalem and Jericho kind of on the same level? By the way, how I always notice, do you see the top of the Dead Sea? Top of the Dead Sea, and it's about, I don't know, three, four miles up over here from here to here, from the top of the Dead Sea to Jericho there. So that's Jericho. And uh, now I want to just draw some uh, things here. This is what's called the King's Highway. This is basically went from Mesopotamia down, all the way down in Arabia, down, down. And this is where the spice routes, you know, they do trading of spices and things like that. They would come on this King's Highway. Okay, so this is the King's Highway. This is like for you guys Route 1, okay? Does Route 1 go up and down North America? You know what I'm saying, Route 1? This is like Route 1. It's a major highway. And so this is Route 1. It's called the King's Highway. And then you have another one over on the coast. This one on the coast is like Route 95. Do you guys do 95 up and down? No, seriously, from up and down, 95 from here to, uh, anyways, New York City. Always go around New York City. Anyways, but uh, you got 95 here going up this way. This is called the Coastal Highway. And this, so if you got stuff in Egypt you want to transport, you got stuff in Egypt, what do you do? You go up the Coastal Highway. So this is like Route 95, this is like Route 1. How do you get from Route 1 to Route 95 or from 95 over to Route 1? 
Jericho. Okay, Jericho. Basically, this is the let. Can you cross here? You can't cross here because you hit the Dead Sea. You can't cross here. Do you want to cross down here? No, it's all stinking desert down there, so you don't want to cross down there. So you come up here, you can go across here and catch the other one and go up. Okay? So Jericho, is Jericho going to be on a key trade route? Is Jericho going to be a, a by the way, this is what? West, this is east. Is Jericho on an east-west trade route? Not north-south, not north-south, but an east-west trade route here connecting up the two highways. So this is almost like a what? Like an H, and this says across here is, uh, is going across Jericho. Now, here's another way to look at it. Turn your head sideways, okay? Turn your head sideways. This is the Dead Sea. This is actually, this is a satellite image. This is the Dead Sea. Let me hit a couple buttons here. Up here is Mount Nebo. This is where Moses dies, and this is where the Israelites were camped up on the plains of Moab up there, this, and Moses dies on Mount Nebo. Joshua's going to come down here. He's going to cross the Jordan River. Can you see the Jordan River there a little bit? The dark, the Jordan River coming down here, going to the Dead Sea. And basically they'll cross the Jordan River and hit Jericho, and Jericho will be located right there, okay? So Jericho is kind of on right next to the cliffs here, and, uh, and that's kind of where Jericho is. In relationship to Dead Sea, can you see? Has anybody ever heard of Qumran, the Dead Sea Scrolls? Dead Sea Scrolls, they're found right in this area here. Okay, the Dead Sea Scrolls. So found right, right in here. 